For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I want to show you how you can turn on and off auto reload on your CircuitPython device. So auto reload is one of the features that makes it possible to hit save while you're coding on a CircuitPython device. In this case, I've got a little cutie pie here. And after it saves, it then automatically restarts the program. So it allows you to immediately uh, see what's happening. However, sometimes there are glitches, particularly when you're doing sound stuff and, and you know, audio stuff, sometimes MIDI stuff. Uh, sometimes it's just the fault of your computer and what you've got running on it. I've run into issues where my computer is noticing my CircuitPython device as a drive and doing something. Maybe it's uh, some backup thing in the background that's like, hey, I noticed a drive. I should take a look at that. And you'll see your, your code sort of stutter. Sometimes you'll hear it if there's an audio thing. Um, so you don't have to deal with the root problem sometimes if you're just desperate to make things work. And so this is the way you can do a little bit of an end run out of uh, around that auto reload. And so the way you do it is you import supervisor, the supervisor library, and then you just add this bit of code right here, supervisor.runtime.autoreload equals either true or false. So right now it's set to true. This means if I save my code, I'll see that it just restarted. And the way you can tell mine is running is I have a little bit of a fading LED here and I have some uh, ASCII text moving across the bottom. Uh, so now what I'll do is I'll set this to false. And I'm going to resave my code. And that's the last time it's going to auto reload when I save code. So you'll notice now if I try to go and change the code. So I've uncommented a little bit here. I'm going to hit save. Okay, it just saved, but you'll notice it's not running the new code until I restart the board. And an easy way to do that if you have a little REPL open is hit Control C, that stops the current code from running. And then as it says right there, use Control D to reload. So I'll hit Control D and now it's running. So this is something that you don't always wanna use because it does slow down your iteration a little, but if you need to be certain that things are reloading uh, and you want to avoid any issues that you're having with your operating system or with other glitches, this is a way to know that no matter what's happening in disk activity, the board is not gonna reload until you decide to reload it. And so that is how you can use supervisor runtime auto reload in CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.